Hi guys, Deb Acker here, back with another video. And the title of today's video is How to Stop Judging Yourself and Others. So for those of you guys who are new to this series and new to my work, I'm an intuitive coach and I work mainly with women to help them to heal their past, heal their childhood patterns, specifically around abandonment and the abandonment that can show up when we have physically and or emotionally unavailable parents, right? And if judgment is an issue for you, um, and it is for so many of us, right? Noticing first and foremost, did you grow up with a lot of judgment and criticism in your life? When you were growing up, did you know your parents or one of your loved ones and or multiple loved ones judge you a lot, right? Because one of the paradigms that we can end up having is that love equals judgment, love equals criticism. So first and foremost, notice if that's true for you. With this though, understand that if you had some paradigm of judgment now and you had it when you were growing up, right, that judgment is really just a defense mechanism that shows us where we're hurting, right? And so um, it's so important when you find yourself judging yourself, when you find yourself judging another, to look at yourself and look within and go, okay, where am I hurting right now, right? Where does this judgment really stem from? And where is it that I'm hurting right now, right? And to be willing to uh, look at that. And then once you've identified where you're hurting, right? Say for instance, um, you know, you don't like um, something uh, the way a part of your body looks, right? Um, you know, you can simply start to say out loud, I don't like that, right? Ugh, I don't like that. I don't like that about me. Ugh. That really bothers me. The key to this is, is really honoring your feelings around it because what keeps it present for us, what keeps it really top of mind is when we don't honor it, right? So when you're willing to start to honor that feeling that you have that's, you know, judgmental, whether it's around yourself or it's around someone else, that can start to shift it. Also with this, recognize that when you are judging another, so much of the time that judgment does live inside of you. So when you find yourself judging another, it's important to ask yourself, where does this live inside of me, right? Like what judgment do I have of myself that's creating this judgment that I have of another person, right? And again, starting to first and foremost, honor that judgment, right? Honor the place in you that's like, um, I think I'm not pretty enough. I think I'm too fat. I think I'm whatever, right? Um, fill in the blank. And then from there, you know, see it, start to see it leaving your body. Also with this, whether it's, um, you know, judgment of yourself or judgment of another, you can start to really, if you can see the little kid that lives inside of you, the little kid that lives inside of them, right? If you can see the, um, the, their inner child and or your inner child, that can also start to ha uh, allow us to have more compassion for that person, right? For um, And for ourselves, right? And really start to honor ourselves and love ourselves in a new way by actually seeing the little uh, girl or little boy that lives inside of them that doesn't know any better, right? That just learned what they learned and likely took those on to be loved, right? So that they wouldn't be abandoned in their life, right? And so, um, you know, again, notice if that feels true, you know, if that's something, especially if it's about you, right? Um, notice if that feels true for you. And also, again, just being willing to go, okay, you know, when it's something about you too, it's like, okay, there's a little girl, a little boy that lives inside of me and they're just hurting, right? And they're just seeking love. And this is the way that I know to love myself, right? This is the way that I know, you know, to really take care of myself and, and even to honor myself. And of course, while that's a reverse paradigm and that's not actually true, um, can you have compassion and kindness for yourself? So that is today's video. If you are enjoying this series and love finding out about new pieces of awareness, new pieces of consciousness, um, you know, being able to see those, because, you know, obviously if we can't see them, we can't change it. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel. And of course, if you're wanting to dive deeper into this work, um, I would love to support you. You can find inf more information below on many options and many ways that we can work together, um, as well as my complimentary uh, healing through abandonment kit. And until next time, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will look forward to seeing you soon.